Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for October 29th to November 11th. Good morning or good evening, wherever you are. Thank you to you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all of my members. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, or you'd like a personal read with me, all of my information is in the description box below. All right, so since you guys liked the way I did the weeklies and the what's this person secretly wants you to know for those who've been with me for a while, um, I decided to try that with also with the bi-weekly. So as always, the singles will be after this, so stay tuned, okay? So let's jump right in here. Remember these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. You can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign is your soul, your moon sign is your emotions, and your rising sign is your physical self. So all three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. All right, so what's going on my Aries Romance and Glove Life for October 29th to November 11th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on with my Aries Romance and Glove Life for October 29th, November 11th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I also noticed also when I do this way that sometimes things do intermingle. So if you are single, you should also check this out. And even if couple, you can also check the single out because I do notice that things kind of intermingle. Like there is some things that come out that are similar. So what's going on my Aries? Romantic Love Life for October 29th to November 11th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so the first one is going to be, where are you now? The second one is going to be, what are the challenges, the blockages, the lessons here? What should you focus on? What are the strengths here? What's gonna happen in the near future? What's the influence? What's the, everything that's influencing this whole thing? What do you need to know that you don't know about your romantic love life? And what is the outcome here? So obviously I'm gonna go a lot more extensive as we go along with a lot more cards and layering and so forth. So stick with me to the end. Pretty extensive read. And let me guys, let me guys, go, guys know if you like this, if you do hit that like button, okay? Cause you gotta let me know if you want me to continue to do this this way for the bi-weeklies. Let me know in the comments below or you can do both if you like. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so it looks like you guys are having a sense that you're in between two different worlds here, right? You're stuck between two different worlds. I have a sense that you're ready for some type of change here. You want things to be brought into balance. You wanna build or work towards the foundation here. Um, I do have a sense that you're trying to take a leadership role here. That's what I feel like. Um, to bring some change about in your situation. Let's keep going here, yep. There, because of the sense that there is, you have a sense that somebody's not telling you the truth here with the fox card energy, that somebody's being deceptive. Uh, I have a sense that you've been, you're going through it, because I feel like, if I look at this fox, this fox almost looks wounded. I feel like you have a sense that you've been going through it and you're trying to bring balance to your situation and you're trying to take a leadership role here into bringing some balance into the situation because you feel like, all right, I'm stuck between two different worlds here. And we see five is something to do with challenge or change. Yup, seven again. Seven's like the fox card energy. There's a sense that somebody is not telling the truth. There is this, you know, the sense of, all right, somebody is not being completely honest and straightforward with me here with the seven card energy. Right, we have the fox card energy, which also shows some kind of deception, somebody not telling the truth, not being straightforward, not being completely honest here. And there is a sense that something needs to be brought into balance. We have the seven card energy, which shows a lot of thinking, contemplating and analyzing about some type of change. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, there's somebody who's walking along, this person's walking along and obviously they're hiding something. They are hiding something. They're hiding some thoughts, some feelings here, okay? Uh, they're not communicating some things here because obviously swords energy represents some kind of communication. We'll see, um, let's go to the blockage delays and challenges. All right, so the blockage seems to be, 
there needs to be some peace brought into the situation because we have the peace card and we're talking about blocked laser challenges. So there's potential here for peace, but still something hasn't been brought to peace because we have five card energy, some kind of to do with challenge or changes. All right, and it's a lot to do with about loyalty or friendships here. And three of cups, somebody may be going out a lot and celebrating, hanging out with friends because also the dog card energy could be friends, okay? So uh, there is a person that wants to bring things into peace, but there is a sense of, all right, are you being loyal with me? Are you being straightforward to, with me? Uh, there's a sense that somebody maybe is hanging out with friends too much. Uh, there is a sense of celebration here. Um, loyalty and friendliness, because doll card energy can be loyalty being an issue, friends being an issue, because Three of Cups is there as well, as the block of Chilean challenge. All right, let's see what you should focus in on. All right, community, coming together, friends, family, all right? So should you, you should be focusing on friends, family, coming together, all right? And love and abundance here with the Empress card energy. Yep, and again, abundance. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of money in that card. Wow, okay, focus on all that money, all right? <laughs> all right, so focusing on coming together and family. And, and your abundance and know that you're abundant here. So that's what you need to focus on. What's gonna fulfill your wishes here? Three card energy for me with the Empress also, she's about creativity or creative solutions here. All right, so what are your strengths? Your strength is focusing on change. Something needs to change here. And you have to be wise in your decision making. You have to think with your head over your heart here because this is a person who's very political with the King of Swords energy. Be very political with your thoughts and your words. Take a leadership role here and speak your mind. And moving past these challenges, Jesus, look at that flame card energy or the devil card energy for me. That speaks of like the devil card energy. So not procrastinating here, not focusing on depression, not focusing on the challenges here, but taking a leadership role here and focusing on bringing some change to your situation, right? Taking a leadership role. You, look at your, your life experiences as a king energy, right? Looking at your life experiences and saying, okay, what did I do? What happened to me in the past? How can I do this differently? How can I take a leadership role here and be wise in my decision making? All right, let's see what's gonna happen in the near future. All right, so it's gonna be a sense that things are going round and round and round. So some type of repeating patterns here and there's a lot of waiting around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And it looks like we got the kiss up card. Someone's going to kiss and make up here. So it does look like there's going to be a sense of somebody kissing and making up here. And it's like a sense of, all right, you know, can this grow? Can this, you know, should I wait around? Should I see how things are going to play out here? And there's a sense that things are keep going around in circles here. There's a lot of thinking, contemplating, um, and because analyzing is happening here with the seven card energy about some type of choice. Okay. What's the influence here? Uh, the influence is look at the signs. There is some signs here, serendipity. And there is a sense of love. Wow, there's good influence here. Lovers. There's a choice that you can make with the heart. And the influence is stability and stableness with the anchor card energy. So you have positive influence here. Yes, there's some challenges here. You're having a sense that someone's not being completely honest with you. There's a sense that something is not brought into balance. Friends could be influencing things. Somebody may be hanging out too much. There is a sense of celebration here with the Three of Cups energy. Maybe somebody's celebrating too much. Or there is a friends that are influencing your romantic love life here. Uh, that's part of the blockage delay and challenges. Or for some of you, with the three card energy being there, more than one choice or option. But it's fair to saying, okay, focus on your abundance here, okay? Focus on coming together, because that's the community card, coming together, working together, and, and focusing on the change here and being very political about things and moving past challenges and depression and procrastination here with the flame card energy. But you have very good positive influence here. It's saying that there is gonna be some signs that you're gonna see about a twin flame soulmate connection that you're, you have to make a choice with your heart here. And the anchor card shows me that you'll be able to move past the stuck and stagnant energy here. Okay, 
and now what do you need to know? Again, it's saying that there's positive things coming for you. There's something of value here, something of a treasure here. It's like a treasure island happening. That is, uh, there's some stress here with the mice card energy. So there's some things of value here uh, and you need to know that you don't need to stress about this with the mice card energy. Take a leap of faith, take a risk here with the full card energy. So what do you need to know that you don't know? That there is something of value here, okay? We see the heart cards, heart in this card, so there's love, there's something of value here in your situation, in your romantic love life. Don't stress about this. You know, take a leap of faith, take a risk here with the full card energy. That's what it's saying, go for it. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is gonna be, considering all this is happening this next couple weeks. So it looks like um, possibly somebody is being watched from afar, you could be watching, uh, they could be watching you from afar here. For some of you, they're observing you, they're watching you, they're having a sense that you're their wish and their hope here with the observer card. Yeah, there we go. We've come to the edge, it looks like uh, there's a sense of, I'm gonna take a risk, I'm gonna take a leap of faith here, because I see all these hearts. So it's like somebody was watching you from afar and they're deciding to take a leap of faith here, okay? Because they've come to the edge. They've been watching you and, and they've come to the edge. And we see the influences, look for the signs. The influence is saying there's positive signs here with a twin flame soulmate connection. Okay. Yup, some big changes, some shocking changes coming up in the next couple weeks with the tower card energy. So you're gonna get some big surprises here with the tower card energy. Oh my God, the key card came out. You're gonna be successful. You're gonna have an opportunity, the key card energy. So I feel like for some of you, somebody has been watching you from afar, okay? For the outcome here. And they just decided to go for it. And this is gonna cause a big shock, a big upheaval here. Remember, we're coming back to this, a twin flame soulmate connection, right? And serendipity, you're gonna see the signs. There's an influence of these signs happening here. Maybe you're not even aware of it yet, but there's signs of it, okay? That's influencing this. And remember, there's something of value here. Don't stress about this. Go for it, take a leap of faith here with the full card energy, take a risk here. And whoever's watching you, they are going to go for it. There, there's gonna be some big changes. It's gonna really shock you, surprise you about this opportunity with the key card energy. Oh my God, this is a heck of a clip anger. When I get the monthlies out, guys, take a look at the monthlies to get more information about this, wow. So there's gonna be a shocking change which is going to bring this opportunity in. Somebody's been watching you from afar, okay? And they're gonna go for it. They're gonna take that risk. They're gonna go, they're, they're coming to the edge and they're gonna go for it with the, that's like the full card energy for me. And it's gonna unlock some things for you. It's gonna be an opportunity and it's gonna be successful. And if, for those of you who've been wondering about a yes or no answer, when the key card comes out, it always means yes. <laughs> okay, guys, let me know if you like it this way. Is it easier to understand? Um, do you find it easier to see what's going on and follow along and stuff like that? If you do, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's move on to our singles. Wow, this is gonna be a heck of a couple weeks. Let me know in the comments below. Wow. All right, bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's move this out of the way. All right, what's going on my airy singles romantic love life for October 29th to November 7th, uh, 11th, excuse me. Let's go on my Aries romantic love life singles for October 29th to November 11th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow. That was a heck of a spread though, man. All right. So again, this is going to be where are you now? What are your challenges? What should you focus on? What are your strengths? What's gonna happen in the near future? What's influencing this? And what do you need to know that you don't know? And the outcome. All right, so where are you now? Six of Cups, for some of you, you may be dealing with somebody from the past. There may be some reminiscing of the past with the Six of Cups energy. 
Sixes represent healing, recovery, and love. I feel like somebody from the past is trying to reach out to you. Okay, doesn't necessarily mean an ex, but there is definitely, I feel like there is somebody that's trying to get your attention and there's somebody from the past. I don't feel like you're noticing them though, um, but they're definitely going for you. All right, so now what's the Block Julian challenge? Ten of Swords, it looks like for some of you, you're still getting over some kind of hurt or pain here with the Ten of Swords energy. Somebody's still getting over something here with the Ten of Swords energy. This shows me though that you're coming out of it. It's almost done, all right? Whatever this blockish delay and challenge was, you're almost done because tens represent a completion, all right? And what should you focus on? Okay, so not focusing on being left out in the cold, focus not focusing on loss here, but focus on change. And what are your strengths? Well, the strength is telling you that the universe is about to move in your favor with the full of fortune cards, so that's good. So you have, all the things are aligning in your favor. The timing is, is right here with the Wheel of Fortune energy. In the near future, it looks like, hmm, we got the Devil card energy. All right, bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination, or somebody's really obsessed with you here, or has a strong attachment here. Seeing that Six of Cups energy, I can see that this person from the past is really focused in on you. I, saw, I have a sense of that, yep. And for some of you, it could be an X because of this Ten of Swords energy. And also we come back to that Five of Pentacles energy, leaving someone out in the cold, our sense of loss. Mm -hmm. But others of you, it may have not even been somebody that you were even with, but there's some challenges coming up with that Devil card energy. And six is healing, recovery, and love, and 10 is a sense of completion. At five, there's some kind of challenge or change here, but you'll move past it. So what is the influence here? So the influence seems to be, you're doing a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about what you want here. Right, this is for me, the Four of Swords is the, the break card. You're taking a break. You're kind of thinking about things. You're contemplating things with the Four of Swords energy. You're focused on stability and stableness. What do you need to know that you don't know? Three of Pentacles is saying it's time to work together. It's time to build a foundation. Um, focus on a creative solution here with the Three of Pentacles energy. This is a sense of team. This is a sense of coming together. Or a spirit could be saying also, you have more than one choice or option. Be aware of that, all right, with that Three of Pentacles energy there and serious ones because we're talking about pentacles here. All right, so what's the outcome here? Okay, Princess of Swords. There's going to be a new perspective, new ideas, new concepts here with the Page of Swords, abrupt decisions being made. Let's keep going here, which is going to cause somebody some heartache. I feel like it's a person from that past. Um, and we see that the Knight of Wands is there which is saying, obviously in this card it says Prince of Wands, but this is the Knight of Wands card. So someone's gonna make an abrupt decision and, or they're gonna make an abrupt decision and you're gonna cause them some heartache here with the Three of Swords energy. And it looks like they're trying to take an action towards passion there. They're trying to have some passionate fun with you with the Knight of Wands energy. And for some of you, this could be more than one person because Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, right? Air. And then we got the three, which could show more than one choice or option. And then Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So it's saying that there's some abrupt decision being made because someone's feeling heartbroken. So they decided to, hey, let's, let's get together passionately, Knight of Wands energy. Yep, there's some passion and fun coming in. I feel like, again, it's that person from the past here, or it could be the fact that you have more than one choice or option for some of you, okay. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please hit that like button. If you can follow along a lot better, let me know. If I should continue on with the bi-weeklies uh, like this and or comment below. I love you guys so much. Thank you to all my members. I'll see you guys in another day or two. You should be able to get more information when I release the monthlies, which should be coming out very soon. Love you guys and have a great rest of your couple weeks and I'll see you soon.